Mr. Alfan, welcome. I'm very pleased to meet you yeah. and thank you very much uh, for your film, The Flame, that is presented yeah. this year in world premiere at Vision du Réel in the Latitude section. Yeah, I also appreciate the Vision du Réel can, can give me some uh, big opportunity to, to screening my films in the festival. Thank you. The Flame follows Iber Jamal, 70, 70 years old, and this fight against the large scale deforestation of an era in Borneo, Indonesia. He's somehow alone against all. And um, Alfan, can you tell us about this choice to focus on the fight of uh, an old man that is almost eight years old who commits uh, himself for the world of tomorrow? Yeah, I think um, <clears throat> it's a, uh, interesting for me because uh, because an old man uh, still, even even uh, there is no many uh, support from uh, his family and his uh, uh, community, but he's still uh, he is still uh, uh, fighting to, to to save his land, and Iber. Uh, give us uh, for our generation, for me, my generation, and maybe my, my, uh, young generation too, uh, how we see the world, how we see the earth, and how uh, we see our life for the future. And because uh, why uh, in his community, only Iber in 80 years, uh, maybe 80 years old, uh, still fight uh, to to save his land. Uh, uh, where's my generation? It's big a uh, big question for me, and it's it's make me why I I I made this story, and why I have to capture also uh, the generation three generation in this in this film because I want I want to show Iber is a it's an old man an old man. And and what happened with the the, the community, uh, the young younger generation than than him, and the youngest, uh, the his, his grand uh, grandson uh, uh, generation, and who always uh, still has give uh, give him um, big question, many questions about the forest, about the uh, life. Uh, so then. It it make me uh, um, why I capture I made the, the story uh, and capture the generation to generation because because of that because uh, Iber uh, Iber uh, touch my my heart uh, touch my my mind about how I see how I and my generation uh, see the world now and what's the fee what's the next, uh, where's uh, our next generation and uh, what's, the, what's the next life, yeah. Great. I was um, wondering, did you have to overcome any obstacle to make um, a film that deals uh, head on with uh, deforestation in your country? Yeah, we have, we have many, 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 many obstacles. Uh, we have, uh, it's too difficult to, to to make a story directly, uh, a direct story about about deforestation, because uh, the problem is very complex. Uh, we sometimes we don't we cannot know who are uh, our enemy, who are my our friends, uh, where which one. Uh, sometimes we have to uh, face the uh, like um, maybe a land mafia or something, but. Maybe it's just one reason how why I need to to make very personal story and even uh, I tell the story about big disaster about big uh, uh, disaster this condition, uh, but I choose a very personal story uh, very uh, it's talking about an old man. And I think it's fair. it's also the powerful powerful way to how to 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 tell uh, and to describe the big uh, disaster uh, and deforestation in Indonesia. And maybe I think 
it's it's good for me it's good for me uh it's the way it's one of the the good way to to tell the uh to the world about deforestation about uh disaster uh, uh environment disaster in indonesia by very personal very personal story and very smooth um uh, story besides it's make our story very powerful and very deep in other sides uh i hope we can we can talk uh many thing about uh fact about uh deforestation in in indonesia uh in the same time and how long did you follow iber jamal in uh, his struggle I met Eber in 2014 when I made an, a, docu- a short documentary about climate change, and I met Eber in 2014. When I met him for the first time, I found uh, the flame inside him because uh, he is one of the uh, one of the victims of uh, uh, victims from Megaris project in Suharto regime in military regime. Before, uh, before a reformation uh, era, uh, uh, the government opened uh, one million hectares rainforest to be agriculture crop for rice. For rice, and Iber is one of the a part of uh, uh, victims uh, of that project, a uh, uh, mega mega rice project. And I found the flame, and I think I want to make the story about him uh, someday. And I found the the moment when. When suddenly, see, uh, he came to uh, my friend's office to and give the documents and say, "I want to save my my last land in the in the in my village." So okay, uh, I think that moment uh, <clears throat> I start to 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 make uh to to make this film, and I follow him uh, until uh, until now. <laughs> Yeah. Did the presence of the camera encourage um, him and encourage Jamal to continue his struggle? I think no, because um, because uh, before I shooting, uh, uh, I filming him. Uh, he he start he start I already start uh, to to process the uh, the documents. Why why he why he want to he want to uh, process by the uh, like a. Uh, by the government rules to to process to save his land, but it's very interesting for me because because it's not uh, easy and how uh, an indigenous people uh, have to collect many 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 documents there and you and meet a computer meets a, a, a map and. It's difficult for him and for indigenous people, and I try to observe the the that uh, how uh, an indigenous people uh, use the, the the government rules to 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 get the certification to have uh, to save his land. My focus more the more than more than it. I try to make more focus to what's the flame inside Eber uh, to make uh, and the the it's make him uh, more stronger than uh, we can imagine he ma- uh, the flame inside him make him uh, very very harm to 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 his grandson to his wife and his family and yeah i think uh, my camera is is not provoke uh, him to continue their their, their struggle their, their fight because uh, there is still the flame inside him to 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 make to make him stand un- uh, stand until the last there is a very beautiful um, intergenerational dimension to your film yeah yeah jamal passed on to the his grandson the tradition and the natural uh, heritage of his community through sensory experience i have um, the feeling that you do the same with your camera you share with us uh, through your aesthetic choices this experience of uh, the pow- power of the nature and uh, its destruction what what do you think about that <laughs> yeah um yeah, maybe it's very uh philosophy uh questions right <laughs> but i think um 
camera is uh, it seems like uh, for me uh, camera uh, is it's like uh, like us like the earth like the stars uh, uh, has a, a the gravity of uh, inside him uh, the camera can can uh, can get your gravity of camera can get your feeling and your DOP feeling uh, to capture inside him. So in the same time, the gravity of the camera also can get the uh, capture uh, environment uh, around, around it, uh, like, uh, like the light, uh, like the ash of the, uh, the forest, uh, burn forest. And my job is as a director trying to to make uh, the gravity of my camera keep focus to to the to the, the flame of the the uh, to Eber, how it works to Eber make make him uh, more stronger than 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 we can imagine, and why Eber can get more energy from the forest from the from his grandson. And I trying to to capture everything like uh, and see the my camera as a, like a, a satellite or like a, a, a planet to uh, has a gravity to capture everything uh, around 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 the, uh, my camera. So I trying to to capture it. I trying to 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 observe uh, the details of the the the, the environment. The, uh around around my camera around around us uh like the burning sea burning forest songbird like everything's everything uh uh i trying to capture also the generation between three generation because we have a uh, iber son we have a uh, uh, iber's grandson and we have a uh a family around uh around iber and it seems like a, it seems like the cosmology of a, like a planet uh, has has also uh, give more energy and uh, send to energy and yeah and camera also uh, is part of of that uh, uh, system. Thank you. And the producer, yeah. <laughs> great. The producer of the film also joined uh, us. So Gita Fara, welcome also to Vision du Réel, to this Q&A. And hi, please, um, hi. Uh, please tell us about, um, about your collaboration with Arfan. Is, uh, is it the first project that you made together or? Uh, hello, everyone. Um, this is my first time uh, collaborating with uh, Arfan. I used to produce a feature films, uh, not, not documentary ones. So this is actually my first time as well uh, docu uh, producing a documentary. And we met back in 2017, I think, or 18, oh, 17, yeah. I think uh, we met on 2017 in uh, Docs by the Sea. It's a, it's a project lab and project market uh, for documentary back in Indonesia and then uh, he asked me to join this project and uh, what I feel is I'm really interested in the subjects uh, as well as the protagonist uh, Mr. Iber because I think uh, mostly when we talk about a fight against uh, the fight uh, for um, environment always uh, revolving around a big demonstration or big protest to the um, palm oil industry and so on. But I think what Mr. Iber, Iber do with his fight is actually quite a lonely fight that he's fighting. And it's a very silent uh, and very um, subtle way to protest, but it's, it's still strong. It's still a strong, it still has a strong impact on the society because then after uh, we are documenting the whole uh, process back since 2014, uh, the 
the goals of Mr. Eber uh, accomplished in 2019. So it's like a five years journey only to get um, his certification of the, the village for us. But it's only short five year compared to the um, more than 30 years he's, he's fighting for his uh, for us. So I think uh, it's a very quite a different uh, storytelling, quite a different filmmaking. Uh, we still talk about the environment, but we see like the uh, how the real story is for these indigenous people back in Indonesia. It's not a big demonstration, but it's a very complicated and bureaucratic path that they have to fight with to finally get their forest and their home. So I think that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are very happy that the flame is part of Vision du Réel uh, this year. And um, I hope that the flame inside, uh, inside the, the protagonist will continue to burn. And thank you very much, Arfan and Jita. And take care okay. and uh, see you soon. <laughs> see you soon, too. Thank you. See you soon. <laughs>